It's a pleasure to be here today uh, for the press club. It's been a while since I've, I've been here. It's truly a um, unique uh, kind of day today, being the anniversary, the one-year anniversary of three officers who were slain and another three officers that were injured. And as you know, following uh, their deaths and their injuries, we have also had another officer that uh, that fell uh, in the line of duty. And um, so we uh, we released a report almost a year uh, to the day. Uh, as you know, in the officer-involved shootings now, nationwide best practices that we've adopted and really formulated the, the procedure with the Association of Prosecuting Attorneys, when there's an officer-involved shooting and a DA does not take the case to a grand jury, that is, we don't believe there's enough information that an officer did some criminal act, to fully explain to the people, we issue a report, a detailed report, and at that point we release all of the information and documentation that's available through a public records request. We try to avoid the public records request and give everything that we have outside of autopsy pictures and protected types of images. And we've employed that procedure now for a year and a half. And uh, we've written several reports. We have four others that are in the making right now to, to issue reports on. And in the past, uh, DAs would generally go to a grand jury and present the case regardless of the facts or circumstances, the grand jury with no true bill. All the information provided to the grand jury was confidential. So I believe that the procedure that we employ now is sure more uh, transparent, more open, and so that everyone can see why I made the decision that I did. Uh, the, uh, that, that decision that was really a no-brainer uh, as to the officers, the SWAT team officers that had to take the life of the killer uh, at Benny's Be Quick. There was no, no doubt uh, as to the propriety of their actions. Uh, but the report took a year. We knew that there were so many moving parts that were involved, so many projectiles, so many bodies, so many stories to follow up on, and then just the sheer number of videos that we had. We wanted to make sure that we had it right, not only for the community, because this is one that really rocked this community will live with us for the rest of our lives, but it rocked the lives of three that were killed and the others that we injured and those that responded taking the life of another, and also to properly prepare and let the uh, whole nation community know exactly what happened in Baton Rouge because of its timing with other shootings in uh, Texas and elsewhere around the country. So I want to compliment my staff. They really did a heck of a job along with the state police. The amount of uh, uh, time and the effort that they put into that report, uh, although the report is only 20-something pages long, it is packed uh, with information. And uh, different, and fortunately for us, in that case, there was so much video, and the videos of the different locations uh, were in sync within a second of each other. We were fortunate to get the videotape that we had, and through a year, we're able to put the video back to back and sync it so you can see upon arrival to the time that uh, the uh, uh, killings are occur, you can see everything. And as you know from the report, we did not uh, include the actual killings of the police officers uh, or the killing of uh, the, uh, Mr. Long. We excise that from our uh, display and uh, that is not, in our opinion, subject to public records request, although I could see where people would want to know and actually see what happened. Uh, that would be, that would be, if we had that request, we would probably fight that on the, on some pretty uh, common sense issues and some cases that we have. But suffice it to say the officers uh, that were killed. The two Baton Rouge police officers were ambushed with their backs turned toward Mr. Long as he came in. They had no idea where he was at the time. He was very tactical. He had superior arms at the time. Officers unfortunately did not know what they were facing with, which oftentimes happens. And, uh, and, but they did everything the way they